Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am looking a little naked. I don't have any eye makeup on or mascara or lips and that is because we are testing out the brand new ColourPop Fortune Palette, the new ColourPop formula for lip glosses, and I thought I might as well throw this KKW highlighter palette into the video. And boy, am I excited. Hi guys, if you're new here, I am Kendra. I post three beauty slash lifestyle videos a week, but actually today's video is a bonus video because I usually do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I did miss Friday last week because the video I had filmed turned out horribly, so I figured let's throw a fourth one out this week. And I got the new ColourPop products, I'm so excited to try them. Definitely subscribe though if you are new here, I'd love to have you join the family. We've got a lot to talk about here, so I think we should just go ahead and get right on into the video. So we might as well just start off with the eyeshadow. Um, I do have the rest of my base done, but this video is mainly for the ColourPop products. So I wanted to do ColourPop first, like the eyeshadow first, and then apply the KKW highlighter palette. This is the Fortune palette. Its sister is the Fame palette, which is a cool toned palette. I personally didn't buy that because I would just never dip into it on a day-to-day -day basis, and I just didn't want to create more of a clutter in my eyeshadow palette drawer. Because I knew I didn't need that cool tone palette, I bought the Kris Jenner palette by Kylie Cosmetics, and that's definitely more cool tone, so that's, I'm good on cool tones. I got one good palette, I'm good on it. I don't love the packaging. I get where they're going with it, I just think it's a little much. Like, I would rather have something a little bit more simplistic. I think it's cute, but it's not as cute as like, what I like, I guess you could say. But, if you didn't know, the Fame palette goes next to it, and it's like a carnival tent. This is for their like, birthday month. This is their fourth birthday color pop, I believe. Here is a nice close-up of this palette. To be quite honest, it looks a lot more colorful on camera. I'm not sure why the camera picks up like all this color. Cause like when I see it in person, I'm like, oh. Man, all the pictures really made it look like really hot magentas, really, really warms, but I feel like that's not actually what it looks like in person, so just take my word for it and be a little bit of aware that it is a little less dull in person than it looks on camera. I feel like we could have done with the smaller palettes that they normally come out with. There's a couple of shades we particularly don't need. There's some that are quite similar that we could have thrown out. I wish they would stick to the smaller palettes that they do, that is like a 12 pan palette and keep the price point at $16 rather than do this where the price point was $22. Do I think that's high? No. Are ColourPop shadows worth the money? Yes, but I just feel like I'd rather pay a little bit less and also, where's my mirror at, you guys? I need a mirror and I'm pissed that they don't put them in. So let me go grab a mirror and then we're just gonna get started applying the eyeshadow to my eyes. Okay guys, so I see this shade and I'm like, how can I not use that? It's called Miser. Who else sees that and thinks of the claymation movie, um, Christmas claymation movie, uh, The Year Without Santa Claus with Heat Miser and Snow Miser? My sister and I have a joke about it where she's Heat Miser and I'm Snow Miser and because she has a hot temper. I'm just kidding, she really doesn't have a hot temper, but it's a joke. That is that shade, this like, gorgeous duochrome, duochrome, duochrome flip. I just don't know how I could go for this palette without using that to be quite honest. So I'm gonna start off with Wiser, which is right next to Miser. It's this like really, really light pinky, warm transition shade, and this is what we are going to use. You guessed it, in the transition. I think it's gonna be really, really gorgeous transition shade for those of you who have fair to light to medium skin tone, like if you're like me, or you're medium or light, and if you are not, if you're like deep or dark, I think this is gonna be a gorgeous like highlighty shade or like a cut crease shade if you're doing a matte cut crease. Oh my gosh, that'd be so pretty. That blended out like a solid dream. Like a really good dream. Like you wake up, you just like met the celebrity and fell in love with, that he fell in love with you, she fell in love with you. You know what I mean? Like that's how good of a dream. <laughs> I'm gonna shut up now. That is such a gorgeous shade. Honestly, that quality of that shadow alone is better than some high-end shadows I've worked with. Like, I know I'm just one shadow in, but I'm very impressed. So it turns out today's look is going to be probably a very purpley one. Now I'm going to go in with Trove, which I think is like Trove, like treasure, tre treasure, tro treasure, treasure, 
It is this gorgeous like magenta purpley shade right here. A very warm purpley shade, which are my fave. And I'm going to also put this in the crease, but just not as high as the pinky shade we just used. Ooh, I like that. And then as I normally do, I'm just bringing a little bit into the outer third. I just really like to layer shades there. Super pigmented, not patchy in the slightest. Blends out like a dream. Just using the first brush I used just to like smooth out the edges up top here. Deep in the crease, I'm taking this shade right here called 500. It's this like more brown maroony shade. It's got a little bit more brown in it, so it's slightly more neutral, which I feel like is going to be good for deepening things up. Okay, I'm actually gonna grab a little bit of Fortune, so I'm gonna mix 500 and Fortune together. Am I out of the frame? <laughs> 500 and fortune right here because I feel like 500 wasn't deepening things up on its own as much as I wanted it to Which is okay because it's not that dark of a shade anyway, so I can't really expect Too much from it. I'm taking a little bit more of the trove shade. We use the purpley one just bringing a little bit more into the Transition just so we don't lose that gorgeous shade up there. Okay guys now. I'm gonna take miser Which is this shade I showed you earlier just on my finger because it is so much easier To use metallics with your finger Ooh, I'm loving that I'm gonna take a little bit more of the 500 and fortune shade They're the ones that I was just using and I'm just blending them in with the miser shade that we just placed down on the lid with my finger. To just help blend the look from like light to dark, I'm going to take this shade down here called Jackpot. It is just like a neutral purple metallic shade and I'm just going to take a little bit of that on a brush and place it down like kind of just like on the outer middle to the outer portion just so that it like kind of has that gradient effect. For the lower lash line, I'm going to start with the same shade that I used on the first shade I used on my transition, and that is Wiser. All right, and then, then I'm going to go in with Trove again. You guys know I love this shade. I'm obsessed. Such a gorgeous warm purple. Just keeping it closer to the lower lash line and closer to the outer third. Okay, one quick thing to note. Even using my finger with the miser shade, which is this duochrome shade, I still have a little bit of fallout, like these blue, purpley flecks. They're not super noticeable, but obviously I'm staring at myself in this big mirror so I can see them. So just one thing to note, if you were using a brush, you're probably gonna get a lot of fallout, so make sure you spray your brush with a setting spray or whatever spray you prefer, or use your finger to get minimal amounts of fallout, or just do your eyes first, which I know a lot of people do. I just prefer to do it this way. <laughs> and then I set myself up for disaster in turn, but who cares? I kind of want to take a little bit of miser on the lower lash line as well, so I'm just going to hope I don't get lots of fallout, and then I'm just like putting it like a messily along the lower lash line. I just want that extra like flare, a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of duochrome. Okay, to highlight the brow bone, I'm going to attempt to use Ben, but I think this is going to be too yellowy, too beige kind of for my eyes. You know what? I can't, I can't use that as a highlight shade. I'm just gonna jump into my trusty Petite Heat palette. You guys know I've been literally so obsessed with this ever since I picked it up for myself. It is such an amazing palette with like great quality shadows and this is like all you need if you're just like a warm toned lover like me and you just want to do basic looks. Whenever I do a basic look, like ever since I picked this up, I've had it for maybe like two months now, I always go to this. Okay guys, the eyes are done, so let's move on into the KKW palette and then at the end I'll give you my final thoughts though, you guys probably already know that I loved it, so. Let's move on. All right, you guys, this is the KKW highlighting palette. Um, I did get number one, obviously, and I'm kind of bummed because, like, here's what I have to say about highlighting palettes. I wanted to try out a KKW highlighter, so that's why I bought it. But in all truth, I shouldn't have because, one, I don't use highlighting palettes, like, ever, except for the Makeup Revolution X Soap palette. Love that one so much. But I just find that it's kind of a waste of my money because I don't use all the shades in it. I'm so fair that 
Sorry, I'm opening up a makeup wipe. I'm so fair that, you know, maybe one, maybe two of the shades in the palettes usually work for me. So for makeup artistry, they're perfect because you have tons of options that you can use and travel with. But for somebody that just needs a highlighter, I would recommend splurging on one single highlighter than a palette. I'm gonna swatch these on the back of my hand so I can show you. Ooh. These are so buttery. I wish you could like literally come through the camera and feel this. So here are the four shades. We have like a white-ish with a tiny bit of gold in it, a pink, then we have more of like a peachy pink, and then we have more of like a deeper gold. Uh, they're beautiful. These are so reflective and so buttery and creamy looking. There's like really like little to no glitter that I see, so it's just gonna, I, I think it's just gonna look like a wet cheek and I love that. But you know, I was worried that it wouldn't work for me and I actually think I can get away with some of these. I am not going anywhere tonight. This is a late video. It is 8 o'clock at night. I almost never film at night because I'm usually filming Saturday mornings, but it's the weekday, so I have to film after work. So I'm going to use different shades around my face to see what they look like. I'm super intrigued by this peachy pink and I hope it works for me. So that's what I'm going to use first. All right, so picking up that peachy pink, I'm using my trusty ColourPop F5 brush. It's the small fluff brush. This is one of my favorite highlighter brushes. And on this cheek, that's what I'm going to use. Okay, so first of all, it's beautiful. It is a little dark on me, but not too dark. Like, it doesn't look like I have blush, particularly on my cheekbone. Okay, that is so pretty. And it has like a slight gold slash peachy reflect so it just looks so gorgeous okay i'm now gonna take the gold shade on this cheek um my camera stopped recording because i ran out of space so i had to change my memory card so i have no idea where it left off but i did apply the gold shade to this cheek it looks really really pretty really really wet and like sheen on the skin like not a glittery highlight it might be too gold for me because I can see a lot of the gold reflect, but I do love gold, so who cares? Cleaned off the brush as best as I could. I'm going to take the white gold shade down the center of the nose. Over right here. Ooh, that's pretty. Hit the bridge. And then I'm going to use it on my cupid's bow and a little bit on the chin. And then I don't really care for this shade because it's like a cool toned pink, but for the sake of this video, cleaned off my brush really fast. For the sake of this video, I'm going to use it above my, might be too dark, but I'm gonna try it, above my brows. It's like really popping though. Wow, it's intense. Oh, I'm beaming. <laughs> Safe to say that those highlighters are super intense. I'm gonna take the white shade and mix it with the pink shade and take that for the inner corner highlight. That is pretty, love that. And I'm going to use that same concoction right underneath. The brow bone for that extra glistening glow. Let's set this face. Okay, I'm gonna apply some mascaras and then I will swatch all the lip products I bought from ColourPop, so I'll be right back. Okay guys, just applied some Glossier Lash Lick. Like, I love this mascara. So I went a little overboard and I bought, let's see, eight. <laughs> It's funny because I don't have room for these. Like I literally don't have room for more lipsticks. But I bought eight of these new lip glosses. I was so excited and intrigued by them that I had to get them. <laughs> um, I will just swatch them, tell you the name really fast and just maybe a really, really, really quick thought and then move on to the next one. So really quick. So they did say your brush comes a little stiff. It has a new brush by the way. Um, so they just say to like move the brush around in the top to kind of break it and I totally get what they're saying because I just broke broke mine. So this is the shade Atta Girl. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see a little better. This is the shade Atta Girl. It has a little bit of a blue flip, like a blue purpley flip. I wanted something like this because one, I don't have anything like this in my collection. And two, I do really like clear glosses that don't really have a tint to them with a little bit of a glitter in them because I feel like they're super easy for every day, you know? I was a little nervous for the wand, but I really like it. The new brush wand or whatever, I really like it. Okay, so this is the shade, what is this called? Double Agent. Um, they look really different, but I feel like they look exactly the same on the lips. So, <laughs> you don't need both probably. This one's slightly more intense, so if you want something more fun, I would go with Double Agent over Girl. but if you want something more natural, 
Atta Girl's better. It smells amazing. Usually their lip products don't really have a scent to them, the liquid lip products, but this definitely has a gorgeous like vanilla-y, some, some kind of scent that I'm obsessed with. Okay guys, this one looks super fun. This is called Few, and it's what I have on my lips, like, Few. Okay guys, this one is gorgeous. This is called P.S. Um, this is like such an amazing everyday gloss. It has a tiny bit of like this peachy pigment to it, but it honestly just looks like your lips but better. There are tiny, tiny, tiny little flecks of shimmer in it. You don't feel them at all on your lips and you can't really see them. It just makes your lips look so beautiful. I'm obsessed with this one. P.S. is a go pick it up. P.S. You're gonna want it. Okay, I'm really bad at puns. I'm, I'm done. Let's move on. Okay guys, this one is called Champagne Poppy. I was really excited for this one too. Like Champagne Poppy. It's Champagne Mommy, but it's a play on Drake's Champagne Poppy. So that's why I said Champagne Poppy. This one is super similar to P.S. except for it has more of a rosy undertone rather than peachy. So this is a really, really great everyday gloss too. You could throw it on with a bold eye like this. It, it's just going to go with everything. It's going to go with a hot makeup look and it's going to go with a, like a normal, natural makeup look. Whatever you want. Okay, this one is called Fantasia. It is a super natural nude, beautiful gloss. Um, it definitely has more of a brown nude undertone with tiny, tiny, tiny little gold flecks in it. So it looks really gorgeous on the lips but it kind of looks like... You're not really trying, but you look amazing, you know? Okay, I did not think I was gonna love this one as much as I do. It is called On Board. It's so funny, because it's like this bronze color, but you would not be able to tell that it kind of has this slight blue-green shift to it, like in the glitters. It's gorgeous. It's not like a, you're not wearing anything. Like, you can tell you're wearing a fun lip gloss, but it's also something you could wear with like any look. Like, I, I love it. Look how, look at how my lips look like glass in this angle. This is such a bad angle. Okay guys, lastly we have this one which is called Secret Weapon. I don't love pigmented glosses like this because I feel like it's gonna look bad after 20 minutes of talking or um, anything for that matter. Like pigmented glosses just aren't my thing but I really wanted to buy one in this form and then try it and it actually is quite nice. It sits on top of the lips well. If you were wearing like a pink or a red lip and you wanted to make it glossy, this would be a really good option. You know I had to put PS back on. All right guys, let's share some final thoughts you already know how I feel about this. I think it's a gorgeous palette. Every single shade that I used worked really well for me. Let me swatch some more just so you can like get an idea. Cause I, I obviously wasn't able to use like a bunch. Okay, so these four shades I didn't use on my eye. I'll swatch them on my hand like so. Not very good at this. I don't know if, it, if I'm good at that. So those are those four shades. That was Mo Problems, Reach, and it was Oracle, and it was uh, Stacks, that gorgeous like bronzy golden shade. Everything blended super well for me, was super pigmented. I didn't have a problem with any of these shades. So if you're looking for a warm tone but neutral palette, I highly recommend this because you can get a neutral eye or a fun eye, a gold eye, a bronze eye, a pink eye, like not pink eye. Why did I say that? A pinky eyeshadow look. Love this. As far as the ColourPop glosses go, I really, really like them. I think I'm going to be using these a lot. There are tons of shades that fit me, and I only bought eight, and I think like 16 or 14 released, so I highly recommend checking those out. And lastly, the KKW highlighter palette. I am pleasantly surprised. I knew that when she came out with the contour kits, like the powder ones, that the highlighters did get good reviews, but I hadn't tried them myself. I am really, really surprised. It looks gorgeous. Like all these shades look gorgeous. I use every single one of them and I'm super fair and I got away with them. So I think that you would too if you were in the market for a highlighter palette and you wanted to try this out. I think it would be a good investment. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to check me out on my Instagram, it is where I'm quite active. So if you want to like keep up with me, check that out. Kendra Cuss, it'll be on the screen. Also, my loves, don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. And I'm going to let you go now. I feel like today's video is probably pretty long. So have a great morning, noon, evening, day, night, whenever it happens to be that you are watching this video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.